sedity, adjective uppity, pretentious, stuck up, conceited, acting as if you are better than someone else, to put on airs, often preceded by the word high, synonym for high maintenance. As of the making of this video, some of you are probably waking up to images like this on the television or on your phone screen. This is not outside of a barista or a restaurant. This is outside of a bank. Or images like this. These are not times to be with someone who is sedity. Someone who needs to be treated like a princess. These are times when you need someone who is realistic grounded and understands the gravity of the situation around them what you don't need is to be with someone like this i only want you for the money and the coat and for the bills that's it if you ain't getting my hair done if you ain't getting my nails done if you ain't doing nothing for me then i don't need you here it's not 50 50 it's not 80 20 it's 100 to zero or this so I noticed I was going a little crazy with Uber Eats. I was ordering this delicious Greek salad almost every single day instead of just like making the salad myself and not being content. Or this. Hey fam, what's the one service you pay for every single month and you have no buyer's remorse? Uber Eats, mm -hmm, for sure. Uh-huh. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm. Worth it. $50 for some chicken wings, mm. Time for physics. For those of you who did not pay attention in physics class, entities like force, acceleration, uh, velocity, these are vectors. And one thing about vectors is when two vectors are going in the same direction, they add together. So as you can see in the first instance, five plus five is 10. But when they're going in opposite directions, five plus minus five is zero so you can see five and ten is 15 but if you go five and minus ten you actually go backwards so in the same way that vectors counteract each other you can have the same instance when you're dealing with someone where you're trying to accumulate money and you're dealing with someone who is quite possibly sedity and requires a high cost of living by the way if you ever wonder why best friend vegetables taste so good now you know. Getting past the extra sugar, salt, butter that's going to be in your food from takeout, there's also the issue of cost. So this is Forbes article from about four or five years ago talking about how much money you save cooking at home. We analyzed data from Priceonomics customer Wellio, a platform that breaks down millions of recipes into single ingredients matching those to grocery items from local stores. And they did this for 86 popular dinner recipes. $20.37 eating at a restaurant per serving, $12.56 using a meal kit service per serving, $4.31 per serving eating at home. Now this difference cannot be denied when you talk about vectors going in different directions. $10 salads that can be made for probably at least half of this amount, $2, $3 per salad, you add that up times a week and you're talking about you're talking about gas money of course there's a health element in terms of nutrition and a money element in terms of saving money but there's also the fact that there's a serving of each other like this i told my husband i wasn't cooking today he said we'll order takeout when he gets home Adam's gonna be home any minute now so i got the mince on a table we're gonna get his reaction So something that simple as just a little joke like I'm not going to cook and then cooking, right? If times are going to move to where they look like they're going, you don't need opposing vectors in your household like this. Why don't the women want to cook and clean for the men anymore? Because they're tired because we're tired because we work the same eight nine ten eleven twelve hour shift that you work don't cook for him because he'll cheat on you with the strength he got from your food <laughs> <laughs> he'll cheat on you with the strength he got from your food fam from the, wow. energy, from the energy he sustained from your cooking he's gonna take it so when you hear people talk about they want to be stay-at-home wives 
this is a lady who is she's a shufu she's a stay-at-home wife she's has a family of five and she's working on a 5300 yen a week budget which is about 70 dollars us and this is showing how she does sets yakusei katsur she saves money in the way she lives so there it says that her budget for the year for cooking is about six sixty mon which is about seven thousand dollars yeah so here she's saying during the weekdays night dinner or dinner and then on the weekend lunch and dinner is the budget so that sounds like they are probably eating school lunch and then maybe they do something special for breakfast or something simple for breakfast <laughs> yeah five thousand now look at kind of food that they're gonna eat not so you can take a look at the kind of food that they're eating they're not eating like ramen noodles like you know throwaway food they're eating proper cooked nutritious food you can see right there that serving is 130 yen 130 yen a serving so that is 76 yen per serving right and again that yen to the dollar is about 130 540 as of this video so right at a dollar per serving per per individual he said it's delicious now does that look like food that is throwaway not nutritious food it is not this is what happens when you have someone who is a proper housewife and they're doing proper planning for nutrition for a family. They find ways to not only save money, but put food like this on the table for a family of five. Yeah, and you could see that that's basically the news kind of cover story is that this is a lady who's finding a way to feed a family of five right at 60 to 65 dollars a week a woman who is an asset will understand that when you order out you're going to be eating food that's greasier fatter saltier than food that you would be making if you were cooking at home and she'll also understand that when you are working together and if she's trying to save money like you're trying to save money, you're going to have two positive vectors adding to each other. And if you have the opposite where you're going to have to go out and buy seven dollar coffees and she wants to order Uber Eats three, four nights a week to order salads, things like that are going to go counteractive to the goal that you might have of getting to a place where you're trying to be settled. Now, once you get to a place where you're settled, you can enjoy some of that stuff. But if that is a prerequisite to the relationship, that is a dangerous precedent for where your relationship might end up going. Find someone wherever you are who understands how the vectors line up with each other. And you could just as well go overseas and find someone who wants the high life and they want to live that high life on your dime. Instead, look for someone who's humble, who will work with you and understands the value of not just cooperating, but doing some of the things yourself that's going to put you in a position in 5, 10, 15 years where you won't have to cook anymore. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, uh, comment down below and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.